Croatia's president Ivo Josipovic and his conservative rival have headed for a January runoff following a tight first round vote in a country battling a severe economic crisis. Center left incumbent Josipovic and his main challenger Kalinda Grabarkitarovic will face off on January 11 after both failed to win more than 50% outright in Sunday's first round of voting for the largely ceremonial post. In a neck and neck race, Josipovic garnered 38.9% of the vote compared to Grabarkitarovic's 38.1%, according to exit polls released by the national HRT and Nova television stations immediately after polling stations closed. The soft-spoken Josipovic, the third president of the former Yugoslav Republic since independence in 1991, is a member of Croatia's Social Democrats, SDP, the main partner in the ruling coalition. A former law professor who won office on an anti-corruption ticket, Josipovic famously played Beethoven's Ode to Joy when Croatia joined the European Union in 2013 hoping membership would revive its flagging economy. Shares the blame. But the tourism-reliant economy of the small Adriatic nation of 4.2 million remains one of the EU's weakest after six years of recession. Unemployment is close to 20%, Half of the country's youth are jobless and public debt is close to 80% of gross domestic product, GDP. Though the president has limited powers, running the country is primarily left to the government, Sunday's election is seen as a key test for Croatia's political parties ahead of parliamentary contests in late 2015. A victory for Grabar Kitarovic would further boost the position of the HDZ, currently the most popular party. The 46-year-old, who represents moderates within HDZ, is a former foreign and European affairs minister and an ex-NATO assistant secretary general. During the campaign she slammed Josipovic's lack of initiative on tackling economic hardship.